everybody. Today we are going to see some more problems of right circular cylinder. Okay, so today's first problem is a solid cylinder has total surface area of 462 centimeters square. Its curved surface area is one third of its total surface area. Find the radius and height of the cylinder. Okay, here we have to find out two things: radius, radius of the cylinder, and height of the cylinder. These two things we have to find. Out. Okay, so what is given thing here? See, the solid cylinder has total surface area 462 centimeter square. Okay, so here total surface area is given. This PAC of the cylinder is given. PAC is given to 462 centimeter square is given. Okay. And one more thing we have told us that is its third surface area is one third of its total surface area. Third surface area is what which formula we use? Third surface area CSA. Third surface area is equal to one third of total surface area. One third of its total surface area. Okay. That dimension is given. Okay. So now for third surface area, which formula we use? That is 2 pi Rh. 2 pi Rh equals to 1 by 3 total surface area. This is formula of cylinder, a simple cylinder. So total surface area will be multiplied by 2 pi Rh plus 2 pi R square. Okay. 2 pi Rh plus 2 pi R square. That is the total surface area of cylinder. That is curved surface area of cylinder. Okay, so now we can take this 3 here and we can multiply it. So 3 to the 6 pi Rh is equal to 2 pi Rh plus 2 pi R square. Okay, this and this is like now. So we can take them together. Okay, so now I am shifting this here. So 6 pi Rh minus 2 pi Rh is equal to 2 pi R square. Okay, 6 pi Rh minus 2 pi Rh is equal to 2 pi R square will be as it is. Now 6 minus 2 will be 4 pi r h is equal to 2 pi r square. Okay, this difference is 4 pi r h is equal to 2 pi r square. Now see here some common things are there, common factors are there which we can cancel. Okay, so this pi we can cancel. Okay, radius r square is there, so what radius from this we can cancel. So what is remaining here? 4 h is equal to 2 pi. So 2 we can take here. And we can divide. So when 2 will come here, what will we get? 2h is equal to what is going to remain r. So this we got here radius is equal to 2 times x height. Okay, so this we got. Now again, this is not our final answer. What we have to find out? Radius and height of the cylinder we have to find. So we got one relation 2h is equal to r. This radius is equal to 2 times x height. Okay. So now what is given here? Its third surface area is one third of its total surface area. Okay, so third surface area we can find out here numerically. Third surface area is equal to one third of its total surface area. Okay, so third surface area is equal to one by three multiplied by total surface area is given. That is four sixty two centimeter square. Four hundred and sixty two centimeter square. So if we divide here, three ones are three. 150, 3 5 are 50 and 3 4 are 12. So 154 cm square. Okay. So CSA we got here 154 cm square. Third surface area we got 154 cm square. Now we have to find out radius and height of the screen. Okay. Radius and height of the screen. So third surface area which formula we use 2 pi r. So that now I am taking here 2 pi r h. Third surface area equals to 2 pi Rh is equal to 154 centimeter square. Okay, 2 pi Rh is equal to 154 centimeter square because third surface area is 2 pi Rh. Okay, so now I am taking here 2 multiplied by value of pi is 22 by 7. Radius we have to take a 2h. So we will put here h multiplied by h is equal to 154. Okay, so now 22 to the 44, 44 to the 88. Upon 7 into h square is equal to 154. So h square is equal to 154. 88 by 7 we will take that side multiply by 7 upon 80. Okay, so here we will take over some. Here 2 fourths are 8, 44. 2 7s are 40. 2 7s are 44. Number 30 is equal by 
2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 in bracket R plus R is equal to 4620 minus 230. Okay, so now here this subtraction will come 10 minus 1 9, 1 minus 11 minus 8, 5 minus 2, uh, 5 minus 2, 3 and 4, 4389. 7 to the 14, 14 into 5. R plus R. Okay, now 14 we can divide here. So 5 into R plus R is equal to 4389 divided by 14. Okay, when you will divide here, you will get 14 to the 42. 14 will be 14 ones are 14. 4 will be 49. 14 is the 42. 42 plus and 7 will get 70. 14. 5 is the 70. So 5 into R plus R we got 330.5 Ok, but we have to find out the thickness thickness of the cylinder thickness of the cylinder means R minus R capital R is out of the is minus smaller radius but we got here value 5 into R plus R Ok, so now again we will use here again we will use here this first equation first equation, ok so what is first equation First equation I am going to use here part the bracket R square minus R square is equal to 115.5. This equation we will use. So now part this is A square minus B square, that property we will use. A square minus B square is equal to A plus B A minus B. So according to that, we are going to write here R plus R into R minus R is equal to 115.5. Okay. Now here we have value of R plus R, 5 into R plus R, this is this value we have. Okay. Once you will put this value here, automatically you will get R minus R. Okay. So that value is 330.5, that I am taking here, 330.5 multiplied by R minus R is equal to 150 So now this obviously we will go that side and we need to divide here. So R minus R is equal to 150.5 divided by 330.5. Okay, decimal point one digit we can shift. So both the decimal points we can shift. So 1155 divided by 3130. Okay, both the numbers are divisible by 11. Okay, so 11 numbers are 11, 0, 11, 5, 7, 55, 11, 2, 3, 22. Okay, remain. Uh, 993, 11, 8, sir. 88, 85, 85, 85. So, 85. Okay. Both the numbers are divisible by 5, 5 to 30, 21, 5, 5, sir, 25, 5, 7, sir, 35. So, both the, again, both the numbers are divisible by 3, 3, 7, sir, 21, and 3, 19, sir, 57. Okay. So, R minus R, that is the thing is, we got 7 by 97. Okay. So, here, once again, see carefully. Problem was given. It is hollow cylinder, okay. So we have to use the formula of hollow cylinder. It is open from both the sides, it is 4620. Okay, it's total surface area. Total surface area of hollow cylinder is given 4620 centimeter square. And area of base thing, base thing is 5 into R square minus R square because this is hollow cylinder, it is equal to 115.5. And here height is given 7 centimeter, and this we have to find out. This thing is we have to find out. Okay, in this is all the difference between outer radius and inner radius. So here again we have taken this is first one, uh, third surface area of inner cylinder plus third surface area of outer cylinder plus area of both the ribs. Okay, base and top is equal to 4620. So from this we have taken common 2 pi x, bracket r plus r is remaining 2 multiplied by this value is given. So that from this we have taken directly and value is equal to 4620. This product is 231. 231 we can take that side and subtraction and that will be 4318. Here height is given 7, so 7 is a 14. 14 we can take that side and if we divide we will get 3134. That is 5 into R plus R. Okay. Once again we are going to use this second. That is 5 into R square minus R square is equal to 115.5. Here A square minus B square, so A plus B A minus B. R plus R, capital R plus small R, capital R minus small R is equal to 115.5. So that value from this we have taken here. 
So all ions are is equal to this, and when we will the ratio, when you take lowest term, that time you will save it by 19 seconds, and that is the difference of the radius, that is thickness of the column. Okay, thank you.